Hi everyone, this is Nabir Watcher. It is December 2nd, 2016, and I have a pretty good one for you today. Incoming planet. This is over Berkeley, California. And this light here is the Bay Bridge, and this is the Golden Gate Bridge looking to the southwest. So let's just get right into this. And uh, I'm going to leave... Uh, Please just go and watch my fake sun video and the fake chemtrail fail videos to explain what we're seeing here. Because I, mean, I can't keep going over this. <laughs> so here comes the sun. And I'm going to pause it here for a second. But I want you to notice that our skies are this milky white color, which is exactly the color of the planets that are coming in. And yeah, Planet X Nibiru is red and green, depending on how it's coming in. Some speculate it's two separate planets. I'm just guessing. But I've seen red and green, though. Uh, okay, so here comes the time lapse video. I'm going to speed this up. Notice they've just ha began to. It's a clear day, and. Then they start to hit the chemtrails right about now. They're passing the chemtrails. And then we can see, keep your eyes right here, as the sun starts to set, the shadow of the earth and the brightness of our sun light up this planet right there. Okay. Now, we're going to talk about this object here in a minute, but let's focus our attention on this one for right now. Now this, you can even see it reflecting off of this also. So imagine what this would really look like if we didn't have, we would see the, just like the moon, we would see it all lit up on the horizon where the lenses are. I'll show you a quick video on the lens. And then I wanna show you something else also interesting. This in front of the sun is a artificial sun, much closer to the sun. The lens system is about in orbit of the the lens system is closer. But look at this thing, okay? It's not a lens flare because lens flares are in the lens. So if you see a cloud behind it disappearing behind the cloud, look at that. See that disappearing behind the clouds, okay? Now. I believe that is actually still part of the artificial sun. It's a projection, the focal point, which just, just comes right here, bouncing off this cloud. And, but lo and behold, there is something closer to the earth that this thing disappears. See it behind the, the chemtrail there? And for one frame, perfectly round. And then as it starts to set, it just disappears. You see that? before it even gets behind the cloud, it vanished. So there is something, uh, some kind of a shield behind this thing that's at the horizon. That's why they're always watching the horizon, especially the west, as this thing starts to set. And then we keep watching. Here's the moon. Okay, so that was not the moon we're watching. There's the moon. See? And the stars. It gets dark again. We go back, and we can see this thing. And this is this is basically how we're going to see this thing. Almost seems like there's another object here also. Look at that. See it bouncing off this lens system here. So let's get into the lens system on this for just a minute. So I'll show you a quick uh, lens video here. So here is a lens sunset. This is over in Australia. We can see these. This is the oscillating, rotating Fresnel lens that goes to set. See how these are fixed in space on the horizon. This is in Australia. And you can see this light oscillating back and forth, back and forth. And we can see the light reflecting around these large lenses down below. See them? And whenever you see this red petal, 
just know that you're looking through the lenses when you see this rose petal design and then the smaller lenses up here all bending the light around your eyes to keep you from seeing it please watch my video on that and then a quick i'll show you the the rotating lens here they're caught busted watching this actually thing wrote watching this thing actually rotate a projection of the fresnel lens the actual fresnel lens is much closer in space i believe they've been watching this on the that's caught this on the sechi sechi channels so we pause this there we go so we can catch this thing rotating anyways i made a video on it you can actually see this thing rotate see it it's hard to catch this on time lapse see it looks like a three-sided disc on there there's three distinct sides on this rotating but again it's all the projection go back and watch my other videos on this and the other thing i was going to show you that we had already seen the same planetary objects all showing up this is not something on the lens because we're showing up everywhere look at the guys flying these powdery chemtrails it's everywhere this has just been going on for days in this place see we see the hidden planet here and we see it here and the look at the you got to see this one look at this people this is pretty ways now deck <laughs> pretty much kind of looks like a lens actually with the lights bending around that thing that's amazing it possibly could be the planet because the way that it sits and look at look to see how it projects the light because of the lens system that's in front of it uh, if you had a sun filter you'd probably actually pick this up and again we could see the dark object hiding behind the clouds here this is catching up on a lot of cameras in the southwest met webcam in mexico it's everywhere i have had this in my other videos and start clocking the direction and the size of this thing as it gets closer anyways please copy this video have a blessed day